هو في حد بيسجل المحاضرة يا جماعة؟ هو المفروض المحاضرات بتبقى متسجلة وبعد ما نخلص بنقدر نرجع لها تاني يعني بس لازم تكون فاتح من اللاب ما أنا شايف إن إن في واحد بيسجل في ده إنجي تقريبا إنجي بتسجل لازم يكون مالك أيوة أنا بسجلها عادي بفتح ستارتي أيوة أنا عارف طريقة التسجيل أنا عارف أيوة. الطريقة أيوة أنا عارف بتدوس كده في ثلاث نقط في النص بتدوس عليهم وتدوس أيوة. ستارت ريكوردينج عادي متأكدين طيب إن دي المحاضرة ولا زي المحاضرة الأولانية طب استنى يا جماعة دلوقتي لسه واحدة ونص إلا دقيقة تمام ماشي يا جماعة معلش ثانية آه... بس طريقة التسجيل كانت إيه؟ دوسي هتلاقي جنب المايك جنب المايك والكاميرا في هتلاقي في كده علامة ثلاث نقط دوسي على الثلاث نقط هيطلع لك كده لستة حاجات انت ممكن تعمليها دوسي ستارت ريكوردنج هيسجل معاك اه بس. تمام تمام كنت دايسه صح عشان لقيت هو بيقول لي ستوب ريكوردنج تمام لا ما مش عايزين ستوب ريكوردنج اي انا ما عملتش ستوب ما عملتش ستوب ما كده قلت تمام انا كده بسجل Good day, everyone. Good day. <clears throat> Is everyone from the group present? Hey. So scary sounds. <sighs> should we wait for the rest of the group or should we start? I don't know. Wait. I don't know either. I think we should give them some minutes. Okay. Let's give them a couple of minutes.
So now what has come, I guess we shall start. <clears throat> so firstly, welcome to the course of Latin language in the, in the Medical Academy in Russia. Uh, the course is devoted to the Latin language in medicine. Uh, the course will last for two semesters. Uh, the first semester will end in February or March. And the second semester will end in July. In March, you will have the midterm exam. And in July, you will, you will have your finals. Uh, so the course itself consists of three parts. The first part is the grammar of Latin and the pars anatomica, the anatomical part, during which you will learn what the words actually are in Latin, how they look like, what are the rules of their usage in the nomination, in the terms themselves, and how to nominate, in case of uh, pars anatomica, the internal and external organs and their derivatives. The second part, pars clinica, will start in the second semester. Uh, during pars clinica, you will learn how to make the terms of, how to name the illnesses and various types of diseases. And also you will learn a lot, I guess, I hope, about the Greek language and about the Greek derivatives to Latin. Um, the Pars Clinica will also contain uh, not only the names of diseases, but the names of the doctors, how these emanations are made, and the pars pharmaceutica, the pharmaceutical part, the third part and the final one, will be devoted to making prescriptions, to making sentences on Latin, and to make texts. So basically, the goals that you should achieve during uh, in, uh, until the end of the Latin course are the following. The first and the most important for you is the ability to nominate, to name the things you see, considering your uh, medical education. The second thing is to understand the basics of Latin grammar, because out of the whole range, the wide range of, of the Latin as a language, you will be receiving only a part of it, the part that is necessary for you uh, to be able to speak medicine. And, well, the third goal is to learn the words which, of which there will be a lot. There will be a lot of words to learn, to study. Uh, so the third goal is to be able to use or to make uh, the terms, the names for all the stuff that you will or can or be able to encounter in your medical activity. The thing that I must ask you is to be active during the lesson, which means when you have questions, when the questions appear, you ask them right away. If you have a question, you ask it. For activity is the training. For example, today we will be starting with the pronunciation thing, how to pronounce the Latin words correctly. And I will ask you to repeat or to pronounce them uh, or to pronounce the words by yourselves. But please 
make the activity. By the way, it also concerns the presence of the whole group, of which I can see only like five people. Mohammed Hazem, you get a question? Uh, yes, uh, there are uh, there is a Parsa Clinica and Pharmatolica, and uh, what is the third? The third uh, Pars Anatomica, uh, the anatomical part, Pars Clinica, clinical part, and Pars Pharmaceutica, the pharmaceutical part. Any questions at this point? OK. Uh, so the textbook you will be studying for from is the textbook uh, translated to English for the general medicine student, for the foreign students. Uh, the origin of the textbook is, uh, of course, the Russian issue, the Russian language one. It has been developed for years and uh, it every year or two it is being reissued and redone. Uh, so the thing that I will be given to you is the latest issue translated by me to English. Uh, I will be giving it, I will be handing it out piece by piece, lesson by lesson. Uh, so like the theory part that we will be doing today will be posted to you in the Teams as well as the corresponding home task. It will be also present in, present in Teams. No questions, I guess. So yeah, now, now you should be seeing my Word document, which is actually the textbook. Do you see this? Yes. 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 Yeah, nice. Yes. So we're starting with the Latin with the Latin alphabet in general, and together with this, we will go through the brief rules of correctly pronouncing the vowels and the consonants of the Latin. So first, we will start with the vowels, and then we'll go to the consonants. And please be sure to repeat them to practice with me. First, the vowels. Uh, first in order. First in the alphabet comes the vowel A, well, the vowel A, that gives the sound of A. At the example, oh. the Latin term for an artery will sound like arteria. 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 And mm -hmm. the thing is, uh, try to do all the vowels in a hard way, not in a soft way. All the vowels except the E must be pronounced hardly. That's why we do the arteria. Arteria. Arteri. Correct. Arteri. Arteria. Arteria. The artery, right? Uh, the next vowel is E. Given the sound of E. Also, the rule of hardness is applied. Uh, the English word is a vein. The Latin term is vena. 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 Right. So the E sound must be always hard. The E vowel, pronounced by E, is actually the only vowel in Latin that cannot be pronounced hardly just because of its uh, because of your phonetical because of your uh, articulation inability to pronounce it hard. So it's always an e. Uh, the spine is an English term. The Latin one is a spina. 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 
Nice. Spinner. Correct. Spinner. Correct. Spinner. Also correct. Next one is uh, or, the vowel or, given a sound of or. The term for an orbit, the Latin term for an orbit, will be an orbita. Uh, orbita. Mean, orbita. Orbita, sorry. The orbita. 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 Correct. Orbita. Nice. Nice. Orbita. Mm -hmm. The next one is U. Given the sound of U, knowing that the vowels are always hard, the aperture term in Latin will sound like apertura. Apertura. Correct. Correct. Apertura. Apertura. Correct. And the last one in order, the Y will give the sound of E, just like the E itself, just like the E vowel itself. So the me no can yeah and don't do the r the don't do the english r in myocardium this is incorrect this is not english this is latin myocardium uh, do the resonating do the vibrating that Mio cardio. Mio cardio. Mm -hmm. Correct. So, along with the separate vowels, uh, there are some dive tones in Latin. So the dive tone is a combination of two vowels that are always pronounced as one sound and they make up one syllable uh, which in reverse means that if there is a, a, a dive tongue there's one syllable and by the general rules of syllable making one syllable is only one vowel and i think you are well acquainted with this rule it's very general and well known so there are two dive tongues in Latin. The first is the a e dive tongue, which is pronounced like e, and the second is o e dive tongue, which is also pronounced like e. So the vertebrae for English will be vertebrae in Latin. Vertebrae. 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 Correct. 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 Vertebrae. Oh, it's correct. Vertebrae. Ver, not the Vertebrae. Ver, vertebrae. Okay. And the term for an abdominal cavity in Latin will sound like a celia. 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 Good. Um, also in Latin, there is a special sign uh, which is in certain words placed above the E, which is called the diaresis, the two dot sign, the double dot sign, like this one. Uh, this kind of sign should tell you that if it is present, the vowels in the dive tongue are pronounced separately, separately from each other. So the air er in English will be a er in Latin. Air. 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 Nice. Uh, also, there are two semi dive tongues. Being a semi dive tongue means that all, uh, although the, the two vowels are placed directly next to each other, they are read separately. Like au is read and au, 
and L is red as in L. So the tail will be a cowder. 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 Correct. And the eucalyptus in English will in Latin be read as eucalyptus. 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 Correct. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Correct. El. Eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. Eucalyptus. Correct. Eucalyptus. This is not the A, but EU. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Okay, nice. <laughs> So the general rules, the vowels and the J consonant. The thing is, uh, maybe uh, in a short time, you will be well acquainted with Russian language as well. Do you have the, the, the lessons of Russian? It is or not? Of Russian? Yeah. No. Yeah. Так. И и краски. Uh, I think I missed some. I think I missed some. Yeah, you did. In, in the end, there was a third uh, znak U and a second znak E U. Yeah. So the thing is, uh, in Russian language, uh, yes. Do you have? Uh, are you having the lessons of Russian or not? Or will you be having lessons of Russian? Yes, we will be having yes, lessons yes. of Russian. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are some uh, some double sounded letters. They are ye, yo, you, and ya respectively. Uh, so in Latin, uh, the sounds are done by the by, by the means of the letter J. This one. Uh, in Letters, the words will be will look like e r e a e u and e o, and the sounds they produce will sound like ya, ye, u and yo respectively. So try to make them ya, ye, u, yo. Ya, ye, u, ye. Nice. Ya, ye, u, ye. Yo. Nice. Good. Okay. Uh, so in Latin, these vowel combinations are the following: e a, e a, e u, and e o, making ya, ye, u, and yo. So the provenance will uh, look like e, u, g, u, m, and sound like yugum. And the term of the empty intestine will look like e a e u and sound like ye u numa. Ye u numa. Ye u numa. Ye u numa. Great. Another rule for pronunciation, guys, who gets a distortion, huh? Next rule is the hard is the hard vowels and hard consonants be, uh, before the hard vowels. The example is a, like vena. The consonant before the a is pronounced hardly v. Correct. For E, uh, 
be able to do examples of the E reading, like E and like Y. Before uh, between two vowels, E is read like Y, like in the word of Mayor. Mayor. Nice. Major. Don't get the. It's not English language. It's Latin. Major. 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 Yep. <laughs> and also some words about the yot letter about the yot consonant. Yot can be used instead of e in the word of major or major. They can be read uh, they can be written either way, but they are pronounced like y major. Uh, the difference between them is in the writing, in the origin of the medical text that you found them in. So for example, the e in the cases of uh, the position before a vowel is pronounced as e itself only in the words of Greek origin. For example, you have the iater, the doctor. And in English, you have lots of examples of the iater, like for example, the pediater, the, the children's doctor. This is that, that exact iater from Greek. And you should know also that the letter J, the letter J, is not used in the words of Greek origin. So whenever you see the J in the word, you can surely tell that the text this is presented in must be the text of the, of the Latin origin. Sometimes you will be required to, to know the origin of the text. Also the Y, just a reminder of the Y, which is read like E. So the cheekbone is read like zigoma. Zigoma. Yep. Zigoma. 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 Yep. And the origins of this letter must be also known to you. The, the letter Y is just only in words of Greek origin. So whenever you see an epsilon, you can surely tell that this word is originated from Greek. So these are the vowels. And yeah, by the way, sometimes I will make short pauses, allowing you to uh, make questions if you have some. And this is one of these pauses. Do you have any questions? Mm, I think. Okay, things is. I must catch a breath because I'm doing lessons from from early morning. Just a just a couple of minutes, please. It's tiring. حد يسجل المحاضرة دي عشان نستمع عندي أي حاجة <تصفيق> ولا أنا يمرنا مفيش حاجة زهرة عندي خالص ونور قطع عندي تقريبا المحاضرة بتتسجل يعني تقريبا المحاضرة بتتسجل يعني في حد بيسجلها بس مش عارف أنا أنا بسجلها أنا بسجلها أنا بسجلها بس أنا ما عنديش كده كده لاب ف... أنا النور قطع عندي فأنا بسمع كلمة وعشرة لا وانا كمان والله مر ما احنا في نفس المكان ما لاش غباء طب ليه ما فكرتك تمام
مينجي المايك بتاعه طلع حاسس ان في صوت حاجة يعني بتقطع او بغوشة في الصوت ايوة اللي فتح المايك يقفله عشان في صوت فعلا ايوة اوكي هيم باك And we are continuing with the consonants. And uh, speaking about the consonants, some of the some of them will have some separate rules, some exclusive rules of pronunciation. So let's start with consonants. The first one is b. Pronouncing like b, and it has. B. Yep, it has no special rules of pronunciation, it's just a b. For example, we have a bag which is pronounced like a bursa. Bursa. Correct. Bursa. Correct. Uh, letter C, it has two ways of pronunciation. The C way and the K way. Uh, more about them a bit later. Now, just the examples. For example, the band is pronounced like fascia. Mm -hmm. Fascia. Mm -hmm. Fascia. Correct. And the pronunciation of k. Here we come with the rib, the costa. 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 Correct. Costa. Letter, correct. The letter D, pronounced like D, no special rules for it. The lower jaw will be a mandibula. And pay attention to this, this is a mandibula. Mandibula. Yep. Mandibula. 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 And concerning this word, we must speak about a slightly another consonant, which is L. That's that one. According to the rules of uh, Latin pronunciation, the consonant L is always the, the letter L is always soft. And that's why we do the mandibu la. Mandibu la. Yeah, something like this. Mandibu la. Next consonant is f, f, given a sound of f. No extra rules applied. The pit will be a fossa. 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 Correct. Next one is G, and it gives the sound of G. Mind that there is no sound of J in Latin. There is just a G. G. Our example is a gland, and it will be pronounced like glandula. 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 Next one is kh, uh, and the rules of its pronunciation are slightly different than, uh, than what you are accustomed to. This is more breathy, more soft, <laughs> like a breathe out, <laughs> like this. And the example you have, the liver, is the hepper. 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 Happen. Yep. Next one is a yacht, and we know everything about the yacht by now. Next one is k. Uh, we will learn a bit more about the 
origin about the origin of this letter a bit later. But for now, this is the skeleton, which is in in Latin must be pronounced like skeleton. 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 Well, don't do the skia. Do the ske. A skeleton. Skeleton. Like skeleton. this, right? Skeleton. So le is soft and k is hard. Skeleton. Next one is the le, which is always soft, as we already know. The wing in Latin will be an ale. Great. Correct. Ale. Next comes the m, giving the sound of m. And no, ex no extra rules applied in here. So the brain substance that you see will be the medulla. 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 Uh -huh. Just do the medulla. Me Me yep, like this. Next comes the N. No extra rules for this consonant. The line will be a linear. Linear. Linea. Yep. Linear. Yep. Linear. Yep. Uh, so in these cases, um, if you can't do the correct pronunciation in one phonetical phrase, it is actually possible to stagger a bit to make the linear in, instead of linear. So if you're having troubles with this, you better stagger, but do it right. Linear. Linear. Linear, right. Next comes the p, giving the sound of p. No extra rules for this one. The eyelid, palpebra. 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 Yep, palpebra. 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 Yep. Next one is cool. Pal. Palpebra. Next one is cool, given the sound of k. The example for you is the scale. Squama. Squama. And it is pronounced mind Squama. that mind that it is pronounced like squ squama. Squama. Like squama. Correct. Squama. Yep. Uh, so, in advance, I can tell you that the letter Q will always be accompanied with the U vowel, always in 100% of the cases. So, they Squama. always will be together. Squama. 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 R is the next consonant. And it's better to do the vibrating R instead of English R. So the branch in English will be Ramos in Latin. R. Ramos. Correct. Ramos. Ramos. Don't, don't do the R. It's R. Ramos. Ramos. Yep. Ramos. Yep. Next one, S which can be pronounced as full and as soft uh, and as deaf sorry in the full option of its pronunciation oh, is z. in deaf this is z. so the bladder example will be vesica in latin vesica 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 uh, the, the the stress in Latin words is very important. And the suture will be pronounced as sutura. 
Sutura. Sutura. Yep. Sutura. 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 Right. Sutura. Sutura. Right. Sutura. Yep. <coughs> Next one is T. And T comes in one option, only a T. The tube will be a tuba in Latin. Tuba. Tuba. Correct. Tuba. Correct. Coming next to the V. No extra rules to this one. The V is always a V. The vessel is a vas. 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 Nice. Uh, next one is X. And X also comes in two options. The full one and the deaf one. The X and X. And the upper jaw will actually be sounded, uh, be pronounced like magzilla. 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 Right. La. Magzilla. Magzilla. Right. Magzilla. 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 And the last one in order is the zeta. Zeta gives the sound of z. Always, we'll learn a bit more a bit later. The zygoma in English will be pronounced like zygoma in Latin. Zygoma. Zygoma. Correct. <coughs> nice. Zygoma. Zygoma. And that is the alphabet. And applying to the alphabet. <laughs> applying to the alphabet, there are some rules of consonant pronunciation. The first one concerns the letter C, which can be read two ways, as C and as K. The cases that we should read this one as C are the following. The position before a E or Y. This rule is very important and lots of students uh, get mistakes in this rule. So before a E and Y, like in the word incisia, which is read like incisura, incisura. Incisura. Mm -hmm. Incisura. Incisura. Correct. Incisura. Correct. And in the position before two of the dive tongues. And there are only two dive tongues in Latin. Mind that the dive tongues are pronounced as a, both of them. So the folds will be a plice. You're welcome to repeat the pleats. Eh? Pleitze. Correct. Pleitze. Correct. Pleitze. Correct. And in all the other cases, basically it's all the other cases, uh, this consonant is pronounced like k. And there are three examples. Coxa, Krista and Lac. Coxa, Krista, Krista. And uh, uh, yes, and please don't do the Krista. It's R Krista. 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 Yep. Krista. Yep. And black. And black. Mm -hmm. Black. Then comes uh -huh. the breathing uh -huh. with more air involved. The human in the in the case of Latin will sound like homo. Homo. Uh -huh. Homo. Uh -huh. Homo. Correct. Uh, next rule comes for K for K. Uh, and the sound. So K is used in artificially created terms to preserve 
sound of k itself because in c, as you remember, we had the c reading before a e y and before two dive tongues. Uh, in in some cases, to save to keep the sound in, the letter k is used. So, for example, in this word, the keratinized the kerato idus. Keratoidus. Keratoidus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Keratoidus. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> why this is done? Pay your attention. If there was a C letter in this position, the word would be read as the tz, tz ratoidus, and it will lose its meaning at all, because this will be another root entirely. And that's why the K is used to keep the roots sounding clear. Next rule counts for Q, which is again, I remind you, which is used only with the following uh, vowel U, only with this one. So what? Akva. Yep. Akva. Yep. L, again, a reminder for you, is always a soft sound. So a column will, in Latin, will be read like a... Like a what? Colum columna? Columna, correct. Columna. Da. Then comes the full and the deaf sounds of S, Z and S. And the rules are the following. The Z is read between the vowels, like the Vizika. 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 Da. 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 Or in the position between a vowel and one of the, one of the sonoric consonants, M or N between a vowel and m and the plasma in latin will sound like a plasma 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 correct <coughs> plasma nice plasma. plasma in all other cases where the essence is involved it will be read as an s just s spina and fossa Spina fossa. Spina fossa. 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 Next we come to X. Uh, so again, the full sound and the deaf sound. Axilla is Def and in the position between the initial a and the vowel, like exitus, it will sound full. Exitus. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, exitus. And the order is the zeta. 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 Zigoma. Da. Zigoma. 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 In, in the words of Greek origin, it's Z. In non Greek words, Zeta. Yep. Yep. In non Greek words, Zigoma. this one will be pronounced like Tz, like Tsinkum. Tsinkum. Yep. Tsinkum. Mm -hmm. Correct. So to read the zeta correctly, you should, you better know about the origin of the given word. Uh, the general rule is the names of the, the stones like zirconium and the names of the chemical elements like zincum, 
were derived not from the Greek language, they are originally Latin. Also mind that the, the letters Y and Z are found only in words of Greek origin. Certain ethic combinations. For Kv, we know that one, the water, it's Aqua. Agva. Don't do the Gv, it's Kv, Aqua. 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 Nice. Yep. Next one is the constellation of N, G, and U, which are read differently as Ngv before vowels, like in language, Lingva. 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 Aha. And as Ngu before consonants, like in the word small language or small tongue, Lingula. 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 Yep. Lingula. So ling, lingula. Lingula. Is always lingula. soft. Uh, the combination of S and U is read like SV before a vowel in a common syllable. And uh, a step forward for you. Uh, if you are trying to read the words syllable by syllable, and if you are able, it is the general ability. Uh, if, if you do this well and quickly, if you are dividing the words by syllables quickly, this will be very helpful for you in the next lessons and in reading as well. So if the s, -S -U combination comes in a same syllable, in one syllable, then it is read as sv, like in the word of sweet, svavis. Svavis? Sv, sv, svavis. Svavis. Yep. And in the rest of the cases, uh, if uh, the s, o, s and o are, for example, divided by syllables, so they belong to the different syllables or if uh, this combination stands before a consonant it is read as su so like own the adjective own is sus and the noun future is sutura sus sutura sutura mm -hmm. sutura yep and another breaking point is the te. It's a very hard thing for the students to remember. So remember it correctly. Uh, so the combination of te is read as c before vowels in general, as a general rule. So the eminence will be eminencia. Eminencia. Try to do this, everyone. Hey, me, Nancy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, and it is read as T after S and X before vowels, like an outfall, the OS T um. OS T um. Mm -hmm. And in the rest of the cases, in all other cases, like the tibia, it's some kind of a bone. We'll let you know what kind of a bone this is. Or uh, tibia. And we come to the final, final fragment of the theory. The Greek digraphs. So the Greek digraphs, just as the diphthongs, are combinations of now the consonants. The vowels were diphthongs, the consonants are digraphs. And just as the diphthongs, 
uh, they are two in letters, but they are one in sound. So two letters make just one sound. They are derived from Greek language and in Greek they were written down as just one Greek letter. And when they came to Latin, the Latin language didn't have such symbols. So they had to make two of them to make the correct pronunciation. Uh, there are four of the Greek digraphs participating in Latin grammar, which are techa, pronounced like t, the chest will be thorax, 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 correct, thorax, correct, thorax, correct. The second is ercha, pronounced like r, the rhombus like is rombo idus. Romboidus. 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 Uh -huh. Romboidus. Uh, just don't do the e d u s. There is no soft soft sounds. E d u s. Idus. Romboidus. 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 That was nice. Romboidus. Okay. Romboidus. And keep the stressing rombo e deus. Rombo e deus. Correct. Uh, next thing is uh, pecha, uh, which is the f sound. The phalanx will be phalanx in Latin. Phalanx. 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 Mm, x, x, it's the x. Phalanx. Mm -hmm. Good. And the fourth one and the last one is H. The combination of CH. Uh, the oracle, the CONCH in Latin will be a CONCHA. And this is a standard CONCHA. Mm -hmm. CONCHA. Correct. CONCHA. Correct. It is the hard. The H. Concha. Concha. Yep. And the combination of S, C, H, derived from both C, H, and S, will sound like S, H. So the seed bone would be a is hum. Is hum. Is hum. Is hum. Is hum. Is hum. And that is everything about the pronunciation. Any questions right now? Because we are going to practice it. A lot of new info, I understand. So far, okay. Let's do the exercises. Who can volunteer? Yep, you're welcome. Yeah. Mohammed Hassan. The dance. Correct. Yeah. Us. Correct. Bursa. Bursa. No. Correct. Bursa. Geno. No, there is no G sound in Latin. Geno. Ge. Genio. The hard vowels. Geno. 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 Fibra. Fibra. Fi. E. Fibra. 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 Correct. Minta. Nope. Mint. Mintam. Mentum. 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 Hard vowels. Mentum. 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 Uh -huh. Tendo. 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 Tuba. Tuba. Nope. Hard Tuba. vowels. Tuba. 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 
Vermis. Ver... Vermis. 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 Nares. 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 Correct. Gaster. 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 Riti. No. Reti. Re. 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 Nudus. Nudus. Correct. Nudus. Homo. Homo. Femur. No, don't make them Femur. soft. Make them hard. Femur. 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 Margo. 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 Vena. 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 Heber. Yep. Heber. 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 Fovia. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Well, stop then. Don't, don't try please. The correct will be a he artus, he artus. He atus. He atus. He atus. Uh huh. John Stura. No. John Stura. In here we should remember the usage of the sound of the vowel C. Before a Y and before diphthongs it is read as C. In here we get no A Y or diphthong. It is C. So how do we do it? Guys, who gives the who gives the the distortion on the mic? Please put it off. Gentura, gentura, yunktura. It's k. Yunktura, yunktura. Yep, Yunktura. Yunktura. Correct. Sagita. 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 Aha. Ramen. Foramen. Magus. Nope. Remember, remember about this about this consonant. Foramen magu mag magus. Nope. 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 For a man, my use. My use. For a man, my use. My use. My use. So when it yeah, comes yeah. between two vowels, uh, uh, we don't uh, pronounce it. This one? Uh, uh, my goose. It's my no. use. Uh, we pronounce it as ye. Yeah, my when it comes use. between two vowels. And when my comes, use. Yep. What when it comes before another vowel, it makes it soft. You, my use. My use. Mm -hmm. Yugum. Yugum, correct. Yeah. Um, Yugum. Digitus. Correct. Arithin. Regio. 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 You missed the line. Arteria. 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 Mm -hmm. Abdomen. 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 Mm -hmm. Manibrium. Nope. Manubrium. 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 
Manubrium. Manubrium. Sterni. Sterni. Sterni, correct. Where is the A? It's just E. Manubrium Sterni. 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 Ligamento inferior. Inferior. Then comes ligamento. Ligamentum. Ligamentum. Homerus. 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 Aha. Homerus. Orbita. Orbita. See the stress. Orbita. Orbita. Peritonia, peritoneum. Peritoneum, правильно. Ureter. Uh, ureter. Ure. Hard vowels. Ureter. 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 Mm -hmm. And? Trigonum. 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 Trigonal. Okay. Trigonal. So actually, there is a whole there is a whole list of the exercises which will be for your home desk, and each of the exercises is devoted to one soul. A segment of the pronunciation to one rule. So, for example, task two is devoted to le. So there is a lot of le in 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 the exercise. In task three, there is an y to practice it uh, to be sounding like e sound. In task four, there is c. The difference between c and k. Task five, there are the dive tongues and semi dive tongues, and so on and so forth. Uh, so the next lesson, <clears throat> yeah, I, I will post, I will upload the tasks to the team. Uh, okay, so we will okay, we will record it, then uh, uh, send it uh, to you, send it uh, again. That will actually be the best the best option to do. And I Do don't know actually. I don't actually know if so, the teams is if the teams can handle audio files, but if it can, this will be perfect, really. Okay. Okay. Yep. So yes, uh, I will upload the 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 theory part and your home task. Okay. And you are to do this home task to the next lesson, to the next week. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, the deadline is before. Uh... Sure, okay. I must, I must at least listen to what you've done. I'll set the deadline to, 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 to Sunday, for example. So I could have one day to listen to you. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, so yes, that's it. Uh, the textbook, uh, this is the textbook and I will send it to you like lesson by lesson, piece by piece. And by the end of the term, by the end of the semester and by the end of the year, you will have the whole issue. OK. So yes, question time. Do you have any questions? 
احنا هنبعت الريكورد فين هو قال لي هحط قال لي هحط ايميل Are you going to attach uh, an email so we can uh, send voice records on it? Well, I actually can do this. I'm, I'm sorry, but, but uh, the internet connection is a little bit weak, so I couldn't hear you. Yes, I can attach the email address. Okay, thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. You're always welcome. So if there is no question, then I guess we can be over for today. Okay. So no questions inbound, then thank you for the lesson. And I'll be waiting. Okay, ما جمع بعتت بعتت لينك في اللايبرري اللي هي احنا بناخد منها كتب كتير اه فالمفروض ان احنا نفتح نلاقي كل الكتب بقى ولا ايه مش عارفه بس هم بعتوا لي الكام انا جالي اصبروا لما اصبروا لما الدكتور يطلع بس انا نكمل نكمل على الجروب عشان الوش ده Me. So well, yeah. Thank you for the lesson. See you next time. Okay. Thank you. Bye. See you.